Good afternoon, my name is Ralph Friedrichs and I want to help you take your life back. I want to welcome everyone to today's show. Uh, today we're going to concentrate on something on a more cheery level, something that's not directly related on how to recover or your addiction, but it's related to how to have a sober and successful party. How can you throw a party as a sober person, a person that's fighting with your addiction daily, a person that possibly uh, has friends that are fighting with addiction, but you don't seem to have the tools or the know-how on how to have a good time uh, being sober. And this is what I'm going to provide you today with 10 tips to have a sober and successful party. What I did is I did a little research and I looked certain things up uh, uh, at the Mayo Clinic and the CDC and some other blogs and I was able to piece together what we uh, have here but before we dive into this I want to actually shout out to a few people the first thing I want to do is shout out to myself I want everyone to know that uh, two things have happened uh, the first thing is, is I want to make a major announcement that I have now completed my passion and I have now become a certified recovery coach. So if you're out there and you need help to take your life back, you can reach me at 1-844-405-HELP. That's 844-405-HELP. If you need information on addiction, addiction recovery, or if you need information on uh, any type of uh, drugs that are out there and how they don't benefit you in any which way, you can go to one of my websites and that's at clearviews.info, that's C-L-E-A-R-V-I-E-W-S dot I-N-F-O. If you want me to help you take your life back and you want to have me be you be your addiction recovery coach, you can reach me at my new website, which is www.clearreform.com. That's C-L-E-A-R-R-E-F-O-R-M.com. That's Clear Reform. And what is reform? Reform is reformation, where I'm going to help you with your transition from addiction to recovery. I will help you find the answers that you already know to your questions that are deep inside you. I will help lift that, those answers, and I will also guide you to uh, certain uh, directions that you already know you want to go to. I will become your personal addictive recovery coach, and uh, or addic addiction recovery coach, I should say. And all you need to do is to call me at 844-405-HELP. Now, if you need to call me now, or 24 hours a day, seven days a week, you can reach me on my cell phone, which is 631-599-0218. You can also reach me on my email address, which is ralph.friedrichs at yahoo.com. That's ralph is R-A-L-F dot F-R-I-E-D-R-I-C-H-S at yahoo.com. You can also uh, go right to my website and leave a comment at clearviews.info. You can do that there also. Now, before we go any further, I want to also announce two special people in my life, and those people are, and the most special person is my mentor who helped me achieve my goal at becoming an addiction recovery coach. His name is Dr. Luis Gonzalez, and he is from Starting Point, and you can reach him at 844 414 You can also look at his website. It's www.starting pointmn.com that's s t a r t i n g p o i n t m n.com he can help you either help you with coaching in other words he can help you exactly what i do and and guiding you through your recovery or towards your recovery how to live with your addiction daily he can also turn you into a uh, a coach an addiction recovery coach if you feel you have the passion and you have the professionalism and the personality, then you need to call 844-414-844 and ask for Dr. Luis Gonzalez. Also, I want to announce Pam Hemphill. She's the host from Time to Heal TV Talk Show. You can find her on Facebook under facebook.com 
slash time to heal. You can also find her on youtube.com backslash channel backslash U C W I Y C K. That's W L Y C K. So that's youtube.com channel backslash U C W L Y C K. That's dot com. Pam Hempel, and she's from Time to Heal. Pam has 36 years or 35 years sobriety under her belt. And Dr. Luis Gonzalez from Starting Point has over 32 years of uh, business experience. And uh, either one of those are very good. But if you want to become a coach, you need to call 844-414-8444. If you need coaching, uh, please, uh, if you're in a certain area, uh, you can check us both out. But uh, by all means, you can also call him there at Starting Point. Now, we just talked about the 10 tips to have a sober, uh, successful party. Now, I'm going to read something to you, so bear with me. There are numerous stories of teens getting boozed in the parties and then behaving in reckless, a reckless manner. Come on, we've all been there. We've all done that. But how about now, you as a parent? Are your children or your grandchildren thrown these parties and you need help on how to have a sober, successful party? Some also misbehaviors or misbehave with other people when they go out or injure themselves. So you have to be careful of that. A large number of the teens are arrested for drinking and driving every month across the United States. Wherever in the United States they are daily being arrested for drinking and driving. And there are many stories of drunk driving that led to a severe road accident, including the death of the driver or innocent bystanders or innocent people on oncoming traffic or on other cars. There is nothing wrong with being at a party and going to a party in person. However, it is wise to avoid alcohol substance abuse, with, which may put into a shameful or horrible situation. You want to, you don't want to be put into that situation. In this video, I will give you ten great tips to achieve a sober and entertaining party. You don't need the alcohol and drugs to have a good time. I, for one, daily go through without alcohol and drugs. I have found a way to live with addiction. I have the tools daily to make me go through my days without the addiction or the craving. On my uh, one website, www.clearviews.info, I supply tons of information and we'll go over that website. And we'll go over my other website. What do I do to help you take your life back? Let's go to tip number one. Remember, fun is not always getting drunk. If you need to get drunk to have fun, then you have some uh, denial issues and inner issues that you need to address because you don't need to be drunk, you don't need to be high to have a good time. Teens get very much excited for a party and think of, of it as a big get-together with big alcohol and drug festivities. You don't need to do that, but it should not be in this matter at all times or at all. If you are children, or even if you want to throw a party, you don't need to have the alcohol and drugs to, to have a good time. You can enjoy partying with friends of a family being sober and do interesting activities with your beloved ones to make the most of everything. I had a video called Mocktails. You can go to my YouTube channel, Take Your Life Back. If you go there, you'll see the uh, 10 Mocktails, which stand for To Mock a Cocktail. What do you think is missing from any one of my mocktails? The alcohol. It is those mocktails that can make your party, a sober party, a successful party. Walk into your, walk in with your close buddy. When you go to a party, walk in with somebody that's, that's close to you. If you are aware that the party you are heading will serve alcohol and drugs, then make sure you go into this party with someone whom you trust most. Your companion should be someone who's very well knows your intention of being sober throughout the party and the person should be supportive as well. So what they're saying is if you happen to go to a party, although you didn't throw this party and, and you are sober and want to continue staying sober, go with somebody that you trust that knows your issue that will help you, guide you. You can even ask your addiction recovery coach if you're close enough, uh, him or she.
You can do that. Number three, have a backup plan ready. What does that mean? So if plan A does not work, what is plan B going to be? Consider that if you are going to this party, you may experience an unanticipated and undesired situation. You might be put into that. So what is your backup plan? What is your plan B? You may find yourself surrounded by people using drugs and forcing you into joining the idea. And you need to say no without making yourself feel awkward. First of all, folks, no one can force you into doing anything in life more or less something illegal or something to do with substances. You, as the sober person, as the person that seeks to stay sober and seeks daily addiction freedom, need to say no. If you say no, either you should be fine saying it straight out to yourself or have your companion that you went to this party help you by saying, my friend, my sister, my boyfriend, girlfriend, does not want the alcohol, does not want the drugs. And this person needs to be firm, as firm as you are. Join up as a team. Maybe your friend or your companion that you went to that you're depending on helping you is also sober. Together you shall conquer the word no. If you find yourself that you're saying no and it's being pushed or forced upon you, it is time for you to exit that party. Number four, attend a party where substance use is not the focus. If your party is called bring all the beer and drugs so we can party up, that is a focused party on substance abuse. Now if you're going to a party such as a wedding rehearsal or you're going to a birthday party where alcohol is not the main attraction or the main theme of the party, that is what you want to focus on. If you are thinking that you won't find any party where you won't be surrounded by boozed people think again they're out there they're in the tons and my mocktails will help you with drinking you can ask for that club soda with a twist twist a lemon you can ask for the orange juice with a little umbrella looks like a screwdriver have that diet coke looks like a rum and coke just look around and you will certainly find a party where alcohol and drug use is not the main focus. It's not the principal focus, a birthday party. Especially if you're going to a children's party, A, whoever's throwing that party should not be serving alcohol, but it's not the main focus. But if you're going to a bachelor's party, or you're going to any other party that's an adult party, be aware that there might be alcohol, there might be drugs. But folks, if you are strong enough to fight your addiction, no matter what environment you're under, you will overcome this because it's a simple word as no. Folks, I've said this and I'll say it again. I've been at situations where the temptation was there, but the, the view of my recovery and my focus on the future is more uh, or more powerful than any uh, temptation possible. A temptation is something that you will act on possibly uh, but will regret for the rest of your life. A temptation can help uh, lose your family again or your loved ones. A temptation can possibly put you in a hospital or possibly put you in a casket. So don't be tempted. Say the word no at any party. Remember, these are 10 tips to have a sober and successful party. It doesn't necessarily mean that you're throwing the party. It means no matter if you're throwing the party or if you're going to a party, you can have a successful party just by being sober. Let's go to number five. And the, let me go to it's Celebrate the occasion with sober friends. Not just one. But you may find people that may not be interested in drinking or drugging. Make it a group. Make it a sober table. Whether they are throwing their own party or going to another party, that can be considered a sober party if they want it to be. If the focus is to have a good time and not to get high or drunk, that is a sober party. It's always a great idea to have them, uh, have you join them, and uh, you make it a sober table if it's not at a sober party. In many parties, you may find people who are fully drunk and even people who are staying sober. But that is just society in itself. I can guarantee you at an AA meeting, you're not going to find a, 
uh, a party, let's say on a sa Saturday, it's an AA party, you're not going to find the focus being on getting drunk because that's counterproductive. Folks, look, pick and choose your parties, but no matter what party you go to and where the party is, if it's a party that has a focus on getting drunk and, and, and getting high and you're already at this party and you don't want to embarrass yourself for whatever reason, all you need to do is say no and avoid and to have a make-believe cocktail, a mocktail. You may join such people uh, as friends and relatives or even if you go to the children at the party and play a game with the children. That is sure one way to stay sober because we hope to God that there is no alcohol near the children. Number six, look after yourself. Remember, no one and I repeat, no one other than maybe a close friend really cares whether you drink or not. You care because you have an addiction and you have worked so very hard at fighting this addiction and learning how to live with it and continuously living with it daily. So you are the captain of your own vessel, your vessel being your body and your mind. You control the actions look after yourself. According to a study, the United States sees highest number of parties during festive and New Year time. Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's, Memorial Day, Fourth July, those are the most festive times for alcohol and or drugs. In such cases you may need to appear far more than one party at a time. There are so many holidays, so if you are required or requested to show up at more than one party, you need to look out after yourself. But it is wise to have some limits set for, your, for yourself before going to these parties. If you are a sober person and you have worked so very hard to get to this point and your future is sobriety uh, until the end of time for yourself, you need to pick and choose which fest festivities are the ones that might be less tempting for you. Christmas is a festivity that's not focused on just alcohol, uh, but on the other hand, New Year's Eve might be. Fourth of July is a big uh, alcohol festivity, but then Memorial Day and Veterans are Day, aren't they? Because every holiday has a meaning, and hopefully they're not, those meanings for those holidays are not camouflaged with an apron of alcohol and or drugs. Forgive yourself before it's too late. What does that mean? You can't be so strict to yourself always. After all, it's a party. So forgive yourself. But when I say forgive yourself, I'm not saying forgive yourself because you're going to drink. Forgive yourself um, uh, if you're tempted. But don't act on your temptation because you're only human. You might be tempted. I have been tempted. So I, I forgive myself for being tempted because I am human and I have feelings, but I'm proud, as you should be, for not acting on your temptation. But if, and I repeat, if you fail and you have what most people call a relapse, which I choose to call a setback, if you have one, by all means do not, and I repeat again, do not go to your old drug and or alcohol abuse methods pick yourself up, dust your knees, step back, take a full self-inventory and move on. Part of my education of being an addiction recovery coach is never, and I repeat, never to dwell on the past. It is today and tomorrow that I'm most concerned to help you take your life back. I can't give your life back from the old days. I can't give it, but I can help you take your life back today and tomorrow. Have some healthy food. This is an important thing because it's one of your, your picture you, your body being an automobile and you have four tires and a steering wheel. So one of those tires rep represents the physical aspect of you so you need to continuously have healthy food overlooking on your diet may end up getting some extra pounds which may cause stress and that folks could lead you to drink at a sober party the party is only as sober as you allow it to be if they serve alcohol it's still a sober party if you want it to be one but if you don't know how to say no and you say yes because you overate 
because you didn't have healthy food. That is a stressor. A stressor could be family visiting you, family that might not understand what you're going through. And they push you and push you to where you might break and, and break down to having even that one beer. Stressor could be job related where you're working over and over and over eight, 10, 12 hour shifts without taking a break. A stressor could be you feel very self-conscious about your weight or your appearance. There are thousands of things that can cause you to have a setback and cause you to possibly drink or do drugs again. Don't let it happen. And how don't we let it happen? It's by educating yourself. It's by having an addiction recovery coach help you take your life back. You want your life back. You want your life back to when you were born, where you were pure, when you didn't have all these things that are holding you back in life. We, when I say we as addiction recovery coaches, can help set your future, your present, your future, your goals. We can help you with that. But you need to reach out. And if you do need to reach out for me, it's one 844 405 help 405 help 1844 help I will help but you need to make that phone call treat yourself with reward reward of being sober it's like having a child and a child comes back with a, an A on their test or the child raked the leaves or did the dishes how you asked by being sober daily 24 hours at a time that is worthy of rewarding yourself. Folks, it's not easy. Even one day of sobriety, one day of going through life sober when you are so used to feeding your addiction with alcohol and or drugs. So when you do achieve plateaus, which could be 24 hours, it could have been a week, it could be a month, reward yourself, promise yourself something that can motivate you to stick to your goal such as go shopping, go to the movies, ask your spouse to get you a surprise gift. If you stay sober in the party, or if you stay sober another week, reward yourself. It works, and it works on children. And you, if you're new to sobriety, are like a child. You need the guidance and direction of someone that who has been doing it for a while, like AA has sponsors, or someone that, that's like me, where this is what I do. I help you work with your addiction daily. As your recovery addiction coach, I will encourage you to find the answers that you already have to, uh, to, to, to answer your questions. And you know the answers. They're already inside you. I will help bring those out. And then you will march forward in your life of addiction. You will become so untempted in the future of the thought of just drinking anything or snorting anything. Number 10, help yourself, help others. Folks, video after video is helping myself and helping you. It's these videos that when I read whatever I'm reading from wherever I got it from that sticks in my mind because even if I only catch 10% of what I just read to you, even just 10%, it's 10% of help that I achieve, achieve daily for myself. And if I give you this education that I'm reading and you pick up 10%, 20, 50, or 60, or all of it, these are daily tools to help you fight and live with your addiction. Think about what I'm saying. Daily, if you come up with anything, whether it's an article, a video, newspaper clipping, that is helping yourself and then take that information and give it to someone. Everyone has someone in their life that either has an addiction themselves or is addicted to something. Let those people get the information that you don't so desperately need. Excuse me one second, I dropped some. Sorry about that. I kicked my soda over. <laughs> take the information, go to them and let them Absorb the information that you already absorbed, but you were nice enough, caring enough to share with them. Let them absorb it and let them pass it on to the next person. So now we went over 10 tips to have a sober 
and successful party. And it does not mean your own party that you're throwing. It means throwing your own party. It means going to a party. But the red flag here and, and, and the gist of this whole video is to stay away from a party that you know that is already focusing on one goal and one goal only, and that's to have you relapse slash setback. Because you know if it's a party that is promoting alcohol and or drugs, it's not a place that you want to go. No matter how strong you are, and no matter how you know you're going to say no, it is not a healthy environment for you to have to defend your actions to anyone. And whatever party you go to, take someone that's close to you, hopefully someone that's also sober, but not everyone has the issues that we have, you and I. So if this person is close enough and this person knows what you're going through, this person will be there as a tag team member of your sobriety. If you find yourself getting to a point where it becomes unbearable, tag your partner. Your partner will bail you out, will throw you the life preserver of addiction recovery. Let this person be helpful to you. Now we know the 10 tips. We're going to address these 10 tips one more time towards the end of this particular show. But I want to encourage everyone, especially people that need coaching, and especially with people that have uh, sobriety issues and have addiction issues to reach out to starting point go to Dr. Luis Gonzalez call him at 844-414-8444 ask him if he can help coach you to find what you need to do in becoming a sober person or continuously stay sober he can coach you if you are sober or you have been sober and you, you carry certain uh, criteria like personality, passion, and professionalism and you seek to fill the goal of becoming a certified addiction recovery coach, call him at 844-414-8444. He is located in Minnesota. Does not mean you have to live in Minnesota to, to, to uh, render his services. I live in the Hamptons, Long Island. I was able to go through his program right from home. So he does offer that. If you need to be coached, you could do it right from your home. Get in touch with him. I'm sure he can work something out with Skype or some other method, but you need to talk to him. His name is Dr. Luis Gonzalez at 844-414-844. Folks, this Wednesday evening, Time to Heal, Channel 11, Boys, Idaho host Pam Hemphill will go through another episode. You can find her. She has her own group on Facebook at Time to Heal group. You can find her videos on Time to Heal uh, at Facebook also. You can also go to you, uh, YouTube backslash channel backslash UCWLYCK. Folks, I have episode 5 through 13 on my webpage. And that's the uh, webpage www.clearviews.info that's c-l-e-a-r-v-i-e-w-s dot i-n-f-o she has her own section there it says time to heal on top on the top bar click on it and see her videos Dr. Luis Gonzalez from Starting Point also uh, has a space on my website you can see him in, this, in the center of the website and then if you pan to the left on the left hand column you can see how good looking he is and uh, you can also watch a mini commercial for Starting Point at startingpointmn.com and you can read a little bit about Dr. Luis Gonzalez. Folks, if you are in, on Long Island or you'd like to hire me to become your recovery addiction coach, you can reach me at 1-844-405-HELP and uh, if you need to talk to me immediately, sometimes I, I don't... Uh, 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 get to the phone quick enough but my cell phone is on my belt clip and you can reach me at 631-599-0218 you can also reach me at ralph.friedrichs at yahoo.com that's r-a-l-f dot f-r-i-e-d-r-i-c-h-s dot com at yahoo.com um, you can also go to my website which you already know and you can go to facebook under clearviews.info um, and uh, soon I will also have for clearreform.com. Now, folks, 
how did I come up with the name Clear Reform? Well, he, the clear part goes back to my clear views, which is community lessons empower addiction recovery views. Those are the views from people seeking recovery. Their views, such as what a doctor, a nurse, psychiatrist, a psychologist recommends on my website to give to you information. Clear Reform stands for Community Lessons Empower Addiction Recovery. Reform is I, as your addiction recovery coach, will help you reform yourself, change yourself from the transition of the addicted to the recovered. I am just merely the bridge in between addiction and recovery. I help you walk towards your goal. I help see the todays and the tomorrows for you. I do not dwell on the past, nor do I dwell on my past. I worry about you today, and I worry about where you're going for tomorrow. That is what I do at 1-844-405-HELP. And that's what you can find on my website, www.clearreform.com. Dot com C L E A R R E F O R M dot com. Folks, about two months ago, as I was going through uh, the uh, courses for addiction recovery coaching, I made a remark. Actually, let me backtrack. I showed my father, who was visiting, a medal that I had received in the Marine Corps. And during my Marine Corps training in boot camp, uh, we were in church and uh, I uh, sat uh, in one of the pews and I felt a tap on my shoulder. I looked up and it was the chaplain. And the chaplain said, Ralph, come with me for a minute. Uh, just come into my quiet room. I need to talk to you. And of course, I had no clue what I had done or what he needed to talk to me about. He sat me down and he said, Ralph, I've noticed that you show a lot of passion not only into your training as a recruit in the Marine Corps, but you show passion to your fellow recruits, your future fellow Marines. You listen before talking. You show the compassion and the passion that I need as a lay leader. What is a lay leader, you might ask? A lay leader is the bridge between a recruit and the chaplain. I help the recruit get to the chaplain, so the chaplain has to see thousands of recruits, sometimes on a weekly basis. So by me being the bridge, I talk to recruit. The recruit might have issues such as can't stand doing their training anymore, suicidal, misses home, whatever the case might be. I take that information and I bring it to the chaplain and then we work together. The chaplain, me being the lay leader and the recruit. Why is it that I bring this up? It is then that I saw that my, power, my higher power had a plan for me. This was in 1981 that I was a lay leader. Today it's 2014. It all came together. That 1981 as a lay leader and my end result of becoming an addiction recovery coach had a plan by my God. It was in 1981 that God probably already knew what my future was holding for me. Of course, I didn't know. And in between 1981 and 2000, and, uh, not 14, because uh, I became recovered before then, or I learned to live sober. It is between 1981 and my day of hitting rock bottom that I committed the alcohol abuse to a tremendous amount I've never had drug abuse, but alcohol, although drug, uh, alcohol is a drug, but never in the sense of marijuana, co cocaine, crack, ecstasy, opium, none of that. But my alcohol abuse was in tremendous amounts to the tune of possibly 10 to 13 shots of vodka a day at the end resulted in hitting rock bottom. It was my higher power that set it all in motion in 1981, and God takes care of you at his own time in his own plan a, a place of choosing he already chose my rock bottom to be the first day for the rest of my life and he already knew where my passion lied in helping other people in 2011 I started helping other people my intentions were still there to help people such as the mentally and physically challenged and the elders however I still had 
an issue, and that was alcoholism. I still had a closet drinking personality. I was still able to function at, in a passionate capacity in helping the older people and the handicaps. But as long as I was still drinking alcohol, I was still not at my full potential where God saw where I had to go. So he helped me hit rock bottom, and then he helped me up. He extended his long reach and helped me up out of the pit of alcoholism and guided me from 2011 to 2013 hitting rock bottom to 2014 and then saying, Ralph, I see I can finally let you choose your path in life that I, meaning God, chose for you, Ralph. I, the Lord, have now given you full accessibility of your passion of becoming an addiction recovery coach. Because you showed me as a lay leader you were able to handle the job. What you didn't show me was from 1981 until 2013 that you can handle your life. But now that I see you, and this is God talking to me, now that I see you that you can handle your life, that your life has become a balanced life without alcohol and or drugs, now I want you to see how I already knew in 1981 when you were a lay leader and today, 2014, that I want you to become the addiction recovery coach that I know that you can be and you can be effectively. And today, folks, I received my final exam uh, result and I only had one question wrong. How do I scale that on a percentage? I would say that's a 99% I scored on my final exam. Folks, it's an achievement, but without my higher power and the help of Dr. Luis Gonzalez from Starting Point, this was not going to be an achievable task. It, it is those two entities, the doctor and his tools and his training and his uh, educational program and my higher power who generated this whole lifespan for me from 1981 in boot camp becoming a lay leader to today becoming a recovery addiction coach, a certified one at that. that those two entities have got me to this point. So when I tell you it is an achievement that I thank, first of all, my God, and I thank him very much for it, and I thank Dr. Luis Gonzalez from Starting Point at startingpointmn.com. It is those two, of course, God being the more higher-powered person, it was the tools that Dr. Luis Gonzalez supplied in his educational program that got me to this. But remember that God already knew that I would somehow run into Dr. Luis Gonzalez, whether it being in person someday, whether it being online, or whether it being the way we did it. He knew, God knew, that 1981 as a lay leader, that in 2014 I would run into Dr. Luis Gonzalez, that Dr. Luis Gonzalez from startingpointmn.com would help me achieve what God has designated me to be. And then it was Dr. Luis Gonzalez grading my final exam and giving me the title of a certified recovery, excuse me, certified addiction recovery coach, that God's plan is now set in motion. God has given me strict orders, and that is to help anyone that would like to have help on continuously achieving addiction recovery. I will do my best uh, job for God for myself and for the reputation of Dr. Luis Gonzalez from Starting Point at startingpointmn.com. Folks, if you need to talk to me, it is 844-405-HELP. That's all you need to do. Give me a call. Now, we're going to talk real quick about the different methods of uh, recovery. If you're ready today to achieve sobriety, what are the methods? Let's start with AA. Folks, we talk about this all, time, uh, all the time. AA has been around since 1936. They're a structured program with 12 steps. They're a structured step. You can't go right to the 12th step. You need to start with step one and work your like regular 12 steps. Remember, they're at the bottom is step one. So every time you take a step, you're going closer to seeking the end result. The end result, which is what we all achieve, and no matter what method you utilize, which is living with uh, an addiction. How to live with it. Are you sober? 
And if you are sober, can you continuously stay sober without educating yourself? And the answer is no. It's not merely sitting in a corner and saying, I'm not drinking, I'm not doing drugs. You need to continuously educate yourself. You need to learn how to live with it. So AA is one method. They have the 12 steps. I can help you, and before I became a recovery coach, have helped you with my method. And my method is using my videos, using my website at clearviews.info, which supplies you information on how who and when, all in the bowl of recovery addiction. How to recover, when is the best time to recover, which is at any time, and with who, and those are different methods. Mind you, on my website you have articles and videos besides my own videos that are written or made by doctors, psychiatrists, and psychologists. They are the people that are the clinical people. They dispense the advice and all. I do not. My job is to bring it to you. Consider me like the news reporter. I bring you the news. However, I have my own news, my own experiences through my own videos, my own life. I just do not give out any clinical advice, nor do I dispense any of it. So I am a news reporter for other people's clinical interviewing, clinical advice, clinical anything. I am my own captain of my own vessel with my own experiences giving it to you daily, giving it to you weekly. And with the grace of God yearly until the end of my, my life. And that is with the grace of God because only God chose in 1981 me as a lay leader and only God chose for me to become an addiction recovery coach in 2014 and only God will choose how long I'll be on this earth but as long as I'm on earth and I promise you this as long as I'm on earth I will help anyone that seeks my help I will give you 100% of my my uh, expert uh, opinions my expert training by Dr. Luis Gonzalez from Starting Point, and my confidentiality and my ethical standards as an addiction recovery coach, that I promise you I will give you as long as I'm doing this. So you have my methods, you have AA methods, and then you have methods that are for people that just cannot, and when I use this word trusted, and I'm not, I don't mean it in the sense of trusted where uh, a person doesn't trust you with their money, but trusted in trusting yourself around alcohol and drugs, meaning if there's nobody around, can you trust yourself from not going to the refrigerator and grabbing a beer or going into the liquor cabinet or going into the drawer and grabbing a, uh, a joint? Folks, I will tell you this and I'll tell you this right now. I was one of those people that couldn't trust myself. I was like a child in a candy store. The minute my wife turned around, the minute the company left, the minute I was walking the streets to go somewhere, I had a sneak, and I used that word very loud and clear, sneak the alcohol into me. That is classified as a closet drinker and for anyone that thinks a closet drinker is literally what it means, it's not what it means at all. You're not in the closet drinking. What it means is you're hiding your drinking from everyone around you. You don't want anybody to know you're drinking, but folks, I will tell you this, if you are an excessive abuser of alcohol and or drugs, your most uh, loved ones uh, that are around you 24-7 do know when you're doing it. And every time they point it out to you, you are doing exactly what you're supposed to do. And when I say supposed to, because it's guaranteed to, unless you learn to fight with it and live with it, you are doing what you're supposed to do, and that's denying. You will deny and deny that you have a problem. You will deny and deny that you're doing it at all. But the only way to help you is to stop denying. It is that day that I will call the demons in my uh, short uh, bio that I have uh, Put on the commercial or a little snippet before this show. I call that the demons uh, of, of my, my life. It, it, when you let go of those demons, that's hitting rock bottom. And the gates of hell, when you go through the gates of hell, close that gate. Lock it up like I told you I did with a padlock. That is your rock bottom. That is when you said, I have enough, I have a problem, and I need help. Extend your arm to someone. Besides your higher power, you need to extend your arm to someone. Let that arm of the other end that's extended to help you be a close friend. Let it be your parents. Let it be your husband and wife. Start in small steps.
but I will tell you the minute you say that you've had enough and you know you have a problem you can't fight alone you need to conquer or uh, receive a method whether it's my method whether it's AA whether it's going into a treatment center where you're supervised 24 7 these folks there will monitor you you can go to 30 60 90 day programs but folks I will say this and I say it on my website alert 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 do not think that you're going to come out of a treatment center and you don't need to continuously educate yourself just because you went through the treatment center means that you hit a plateau of 30 60 90 day of sobriety but folks as quick as you were able to seek that sobriety quicker can you lose it if you don't continuously educate yourself during your addiction recovery you need to find a method that works for you you need to possibly hire a certified addiction recovery coach like myself or Dr. Luis Gonzalez hire somebody to help you that will walk the journey of addiction recovery with you side by side seek I seek out to your higher power because folks no matter which way you do it you need your higher power you need to address your higher power and, and ask for guidance and direction I do it daily folks since I became sober although in small steps baby steps I have found myself to be more compassionate to people I have found myself to be more uh, attentive to people I try to listen to people but I will tell you folks no matter how good you think you're becoming there's always going to be roadblocks I found that out recently and those roadblocks you need to overcome and I've learned to overcome them do not get and I put this to a certain person I will not be sucked into the vacuum of uh, a stressor and what I choose to call stressor is someone that's going to cause stress on me to possibly put me in a position where I might have a setback or as other people call it, relapse avoid the stressors if somebody is being so negative to you I'm not saying eliminate this person totally but eliminate the situation that you're in that that person's putting you in eliminate that situation walk away from it what says just kindly say like I had to say to this person you will not suck me into this argument do that you need to do that yes you will come across as the uh, person that might look hateful but you're not you have to look out for number one and number one is you because you're the one that might have the setback or relapse not the other person so do these things folks you really need to do these things and most importantly you need to surround yourself with positive forces what is a positive force that's positive people positive uh, environment positive home if you have any of those things that are negative you need to work on those because negativity is stressors they will give you stress the stressors even if it's dark outside and it's raining outside your home can be positive if you make it to be positive remember I always say the sunshine is positive lightness is positive darkness is negative so even if it's dark outside and it's raining outside you can still have a sunny day in your own home because it all lies within you you need to bring that sunshine that positive you out sometimes you can do it on your own sometimes you need to have addiction recovery coach somebody to coach you to get your inner feelings out to the open let those people that are out there help you if you want to become an addiction recovery coach you can do that it is a task that's not as easy as anything other than you need to be passionate about it you need to have a professional attitude and a personality if you're too rough around the edges, adjust your personality, adjust your pers uh, your professionalism. But a passion is very important. You need to have a passion that you want to help people. It doesn't matter who the person is that you want to help. You need to show that passion. Show that person that you are there for them, 100% during your session. Dr. Luis Gonzalez from the Starting Point, MN.com, 844-414-8444 can turn you into an addiction recovery coach he has turned me into one with his educational program and his experience I have been able to achieve something that a God my higher power knew I was going to be back in 
1981 when I was a late leader. It just took a long time to get there. But you know what, folks? Even if it takes the longest time in the world to get there, as long as you get there, as long as it's not too late to get there, and the same goes with your sobriety. You might have drink or done drugs for 30 years. I don't care about your past, folks. You need to do today and tomorrow. That's the most important. When you reach out to, to your higher power, in my case, my God, and you ask for guidance and, and, uh, and direction, God will forgive your past no matter what, but you need to reach out for him. He wants you today and tomorrow to be what he wants you to be. The same concept goes with my uh, coaching you, with Dr. Gonzalez coaching you. We are only concerned about today and tomorrow, so let today and tomorrow be your future. Let yesterday be your past. And as such, your past is your past. I don't need for you to dwell on it. God will forgive you. My God will forgive you. Whatever your higher power, they will forgive you. Enough with this, and let's recap on the 10 tips of having a successful party. Number one was remember, fun is not always getting drunk, folks. You don't need to be high. You don't need to be drunk. Folks, the other day I went to visit my sister, and she has spinal bifida, and she's in a home uh, here on Long Island. And uh, sometimes you get yourself in the, in the atmosphere where it's not the most positive because of the folks you might be around. But you know what, folks? I took this opportunity to spend time with my sister, who was physically challenged, and my nieces and nephew that were there. And we played a simple game. The game we chose to call Hot Potato was just flipping a potato around that was playing music. When the music would stop, whoever had that potato was added a game. My example here being is this, what could have been a negative atmosphere because of some people that were with me possibly at the time, and I'm not saying this is what it was, I'm saying possibly could have been, I turned it into a positive situation to spend time with my physically challenged sister, who's in a group home, and my nieces and nephew, and played with them, which made me happy and it made them probably happier. Do you see what I'm saying? So, not having fun does not always mean you have to be drunk or high. Number two, walk with a close buddy. Folks, my closest buddy, besides myself, and I'm speaking to two people here, right? My closest buddy besides myself is my wife. I can rely on my wife for anything in life. And what you need to do if you're not married, you don't have a boyfriend or girlfriend, you need to find a person. No matter what the situation is, no matter what I have done, I should be able to go to my closest friend, my wife, who's my best friend my wife you should be able to have that so find a person like that have a backup plan ready if you find yourself at a party where you know there's lots of alcohol and drugs I have a videotape it's called mocktails 10 mocktails while they're serving cocktails and ruining their body and having the alcohol and doing whatever they're doing mock them mock their cocktails Instead of a screwdriver, which is orange juice and vodka, have, a, have just the orange juice. Throw a little umbrella in it. Throw a cherry in it. Instead of having a rum and coke, just have the coke. Instead of having a 7-7, seven seven, have the 7-up. Throw a lime in it. Those are mocktails. So have a backup plan ready. Attend a party with where substance use is not the focus. Folks, if you know this is going to be a bachelor's party, stay away from it because you know it's going to be a situation like a New Year's party. I'm not saying you can't go to those parties, but I'm saying where the focus is so focused on just drinking and drugging, you need to be the better person for yourself because you're the captain of your own vessel. Be a better person for yourself and stay away from them. But if you choose to go to one, go with a close buddy, have a backup plan. Look after yourself. Nobody other than maybe possibly your buddy or your best friend that's going with you will look out for you. So look after yourself. You're, again, I'm going to say this and I'm going to use utilize this uh, statement constantly. You are the captain of your own vessel. Nobody at the party cares whether you drink or not other than maybe your close friend that you're going with. But you need to care. You need to care if you're doing drugs or not. You have come so far to be where you are. I say this in my, my bio snippet, drinking again is not an option, it would be too painful. When I say painful, painful for me, 
besides the fact that I disappoint so many people out in the, in the public, in the world, my audience would be too painful for me. I would be a hypocrite to sit here and give you my testimony, my testimony daily on my videos if I was going to utilize alcohol and or drugs. Forgive yourself before it's too late. What does that mean? I'm going to read it. You can't be so strict to yourself. After all, it's a party. But if, God forbid, you should fail, failing would be a setback or a relapse, forgive yourself. Don't say, well, I had a drink or two, now I might as well just party all night. No. Do not go back into your old abuse patterns. Forgive yourself. Dust your knees, pull yourself up, take a self-inventory and see how this happened and prevent it from happening again and move forward. You had it, it's done. Move forward. Folks, we talk about stresses, overworking, relationship problems, weight issues, superficial issues. Have some healthy food. Overlooking on your diet may end up getting some extra pounds, which is a stress. If you, not, if you start feeling bad about yourself, you might revert to drinking and or drugging. Treat yourself to a reward of being sober. If you're sober a week, that is a congratulations, and it's a job well done. Treat yourself for it. Anything that's worth treating yourself because you've hit a plateau. If you have done a year, what you need to do is just go thumbs up, folks, because thumbs up is important. Pat yourself on the back. It's not easy being sober. It isn't, but it is easy to fall off sobriety to go back into the old ways you need to be alert daily 24 hours at a time don't let it go for a week at a time where you're not even caring about it that's when you'll fall back into the old ways help yourself and help others folks i started in 1981 as a lay leader the obvious signs were there not to me but to the chaplain i continued in 2011 helping the elders, helping the physically and mentally challenged people. Actually, if you want to go forward a little back, uh, I started in 2005 flying into all the villages in the Arctic Circle helping Eskimos with their eyeglasses and their visual needs. Did that for a few years and unfortunately it wasn't in God's plan and I had a, a pretty bad accident and I was not able to continue helping the Eskimos in the Arctic Circle. That all came to an end in 2009. But God had bigger plans for me. He allowed me from 2009 to 2011 to go through physical therapy five days a week and I did that for three years all the way into 2012. He already prepped me in 2011 by saying, Ralph, I want you to help the men mentally and physically challenge the elders. And then as 2013 approached and God was able to see that I'm still able to function in helping people, I still had the compassion and the passion to show other people that I am here for them. He said, Ralph, today, 2013, now I'm ready for you to give up your drinking habits. You are now ready. And I hit rock bottom. He let me hit rock bottom knowingly he was going to reach up and pull me out. And at that point he started showing me different methods on recovery showing me different addiction, blessing me with the ability to speak in front of her camera for an hour. And it was in 2014 he blessed me by running into Dr. Luis Gonzalez over in, uh, uh, from Minnesota from Starting Point. I did not physically run into him, but we met each other through the internet and emails and texts. And it was through God that Dr. Luis Gonzalez and I agreed on my education and Dr. Luis Gonzalez saw me through my education and it is today in August 2014, I proclaim now to be a certified addiction recovery coach with the help of God, my higher power, and Dr. Luis Gonzalez. If you have the passion, you want to be an addiction recovery coach, reach out to Dr. Luis Gonzalez at Starting Point at startingpointmn.com. That's S T A R T I N G M N, excuse me, Starting Point mn.com that's s t a r t i n g p o i n t m n.com you can reach dr lewis gonzalez over at 844-414-8444 go watch time to heal also on facebook the host is pam hemphill 35 years of sobriety under her belt very dear friend of mine you can see her on facebook she has her own group time to heal 
you see on Facebook, Time to Heal. You can go to YouTube.com, our channel, backslash UCWLYCK. You can see both, uh, uh, all her, I should say, all her videos, either on YouTube, but uh, also on my website, www.clearviews.info. If you want me to become your addiction recovery coach, you can reach me at 844-405-HELP. 405 help you can go to my clearreform.com website that's c l e a r r e f o r m dot com reform means to help you change i will give you change i will help you change uh, from the addictive side of you to the recovered side of you i will be the bridge between addiction and recovery i will help you see what you already know you can reach me also at my cell phone, 24-7-631-599-0218. I just want to thank everybody for coming today, for addressing this topic of 10 tips to have a sober and successful party, whether you're throwing it or not. You're going to a party, if you follow these steps, you can have a successful one. Do not drink a cocktail. Instead, look at my videotape. It's called 10 Mocktails. To mock a cocktail is a mocktail. Get in touch with uh, the people that I have mentioned on this uh, particular uh, show. Uh, I will hopefully uh, videotape my next show in the next day or two. In the meantime, I want everybody to know a sober today makes for a better tomorrow. And that I guarantee you. And you have to believe it in here to achieve it there, wherever you are, your living room, kitchen. Because whatever you believe in here, you can achieve. If you believe you can be sober, you will achieve to be so. Sometimes you need to get people to help you, to guide you, uh, whether it being in my methods, whether it being AA, whether it being a uh, rehab center. When I say sometimes, you definitely need a structured program on addiction recovery, but sometimes you need that extra little nudge. And let me, as your recovery coach, be that nudge at 844-405-HELP. Let Dr. Gonzalez from Starting Point at 844-414-844 help. In the meantime, I want everybody to have a great day. More importantly, have a great week. But the most important thing is let me help take your life back. And please have a sober day.